Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to it. So, I am starting to film this. It's Y'all are seeing this hopefully today, Thursday the 24th of October. Filming this at 11.11 a.m. The Menendez Brothers... Today, because I just found out, because... Eric Menendez's stepdaughter... She just posted an Instagram story. I'll put it on the screen right here. The Instagram story. We're going to have a decision today. I thought it was going to be tomorrow. Apparently it's going to be today now. On whether... We're going to... They're going to be recensed or not. I mean, we still have to wait till November for a judge to say yes or no. If we do get a yes on them being recensed. Part of me is like 70% like yes, they're going to be recensed. Or... Mark Gaskin is going to say he wants them to be recensed. But it's just like, that 30% of me that's like, mmm, no. Now I'm like excited for today. But at the same time, I'm not. It's supposed to happen 1.30 p.m. CST. Or, I don't know what time zone. But 1.30 some time zone. He's going to hold a press conference. I'm hoping it's live streamed. It's obviously gonna be live streamed. I'm like shitting my pants now for today. I was already shitting my pants for it being tomorrow. Him announcing. Now that it's gonna be today, I'm like, oh fuck. My anxiety has now really gone through the roof. And like I was supposed to be diff filming a different video today. I was gonna film a video reacting to Kelsey Ballerini's new album Patterns. I uh, was able to find a way to listen to the album using a VPN. So I'm like, well, let me film this video th throughout the day using the VPN. Or sometime today. I might still film that video today. But just know that's the next video coming. I just, I would have gone, like, last week, was it? It's when the family members had a press conference. I would have gone live like I did last week, but I wanted to film a pre-recorded video because that's much better quality for y'all than me just going live from, off of my laptop. I'm going to try to get this video up. Like, I'm going to edit this video as quickly as I can. I'm supposed to be going to Walmart. Because I have to go grab something from Walmart on my mom's lunch break. So I hope the press conference doesn't interfere with me trying to go to Walmart. If it does, I'm going to tell my mom, I'm going to text my mom and be like, Sorry, but we're going to have to push Walmart back until probably tomorrow. Because we would go tonight once he gets off work, but we're supposed to be going to Dollar General. And I know my mom does not want to. Go to Dollar General, and then go to Walmart for just one thing, and then go to take me to get food. I don't even want to feel, I don't feel like doing all that tonight. So I'll just, I'll just push it back till, till, uh, tomorrow when my mom gets off work. Uh, yeah, but my, uh, this is probably going to be a long video. Probably going to be like a 45 minute to an hour long video so I hope y'all enjoy this video uh I am nervous very nervous and the word that the people have been using for their brother the Menendez, the Menendez's brother's reactions to all this is they're cautiously optimistic they're probably still gonna be cautiously optimistic even if George Gaston it's like, yes, you're going to be resentenced because they still have to hear from a judge about it. They still have to get a yes or no from judge from a judge. 
And most judges that I know or I hear about, most judges are complete assholes. So it's like, I'm like, oh fuck. What if they get a judge who quite literally has no fucking heart? Then we're, we're done. Because this is the last thing they could use to get out. This doesn't work. They're done so. They're infinity percent going to be in prison for the rest of their lives. And that's one of the reasons why they're cautiously optimistic. I don't want to be filming. I don't want to film a video. Start filming it later. And I. And George Gaskin is like no. Or I don't want to film a video in about a month. And the judge is like, no, I really don't. And I already know that the odds are not in their favor because of, they killed their parents. The odds are not really in your favor when you think about it that way. It's just... Never thought we'd be here. So it is like crazy and emotional today will be an emotional day of Doris Gessling's like yes be the last time we were even like like they had an appeal was back in like 2005 I was born in 2005 I'll be turning 19 19 November 1st so 19 years ago Next year we'll make it 20 years ago since that they went in front of the appeals court, whatever you call it, and then the appeals court was like, no, we reject it. And then many, many, many years went by until a habeas was filed last year. So that was 18 years, 17 and a half years, 18 years of them. Be like, we're going to be in here for the rest of the lives. And I think with that, them be realizing, well, we're really going to be in here for the rest of the lives. So, like, might as well make the best of it. I mean, however the best you can make out of prison. I, I, uh, uh. I'm nervous. I've said that a million times, but I really, really, really am nervous because I don't know what George Gaston can say. He has said a couple of times that he doesn't want them to die in prison. The only way they don't die in prison is if you say yes and you resentence them or you send them off to a, a judge for a judge to say yes or no in November and they're out. I want them to be out for Thanksgiving. That's what I want. I want this to be moving like really fast. But I know we still have a court hearing for the 29th. That's a month away. Almost a full month away. You see, when I think about two years down the line, my head's picturing me not really giving a shit about the Menendez brothers anymore because this didn't work. If this doesn't work, that's what I'm gonna have to do to be able to deal with this. If none of this works, I'm gonna have to not give a shit about them because I will be really, 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 really hurt. So I'm just gonna have to try and move on with my life the best I can just knowing that there's two people in prison that I know deserve to be out by now. I never did ask to care about them so much. I don't know why I do. I just do. So don't ask me why I'll be so fucking hurt. I'll just be so hurt if this doesn't end up working out. This doesn't work out. I'm done so. <laughs> like I'm already starting to cry.
But yeah, I might film another video, aka the Kelsey Ballerini Patterns album reaction. Y'all obviously not gonna be able to see that video to this weekend. One, because the album's not even out, so uh, YouTube will not let y'all see this video before the album's officially out everywhere. And two, I have to edit the video. That's going to take me a couple of days. Three, I'm focused on filming this video right now. This video that I'm filming currently is the video that I'm currently focused on. When something, when like an update with the Menendez brothers happens, that's all I can seem to focus on. Like everything gets thrown to the side. I start focusing on them. AKY, when I, I saw Eric Menendez, Eric Menendez's daughter's stepdaughter's Instagram story about the update that y'all seen because I put it on the screen. I immediately, my headspace went to film a fucking video and focus on them. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to focus on two things because I am exporting a video because I did a video to where I screen recorded all the songs using the VPN from Kelsey Ballerini's Paladin album and I put them all in one video. So whenever I go to film that reaction video, I can just send the video to my TV and use that direct to the songs because there's not a way you can use a VPN on, on a Roku TV. Have do it, do it this way. But that's on like 38%, no 39% on next morning, so I'm gonna go focus on that. Plus I still have, it's 11.23 now AM, so I still have, I don't know what time, I need to figure out what time the press conference is. And for my time zone. So yeah, I'm gonna go figure that out and everything, but I'll see y'all in the next clip and the next clip will be my reaction. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Peace. Okay guys, I know I said the last clip will be when the press conference is, but I think I figured out what time it is for my time zone, I think. 3.30 p.m. my time. So it's 11.26 now a.m. So I have about 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half hours until then. So it's gonna be a while see y'all y'all might not be seeing this video till tomorrow I mean I'm gonna get this video up as soon as possible still but I just want to come on here let y'all know if y'all wondering what time it is for me it's 3 30 p.m. so I am gonna be able to still go to Walmart that's good but yeah I don't know but yeah I probably send in this clip here so this video is not that long so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all around 3.15 p.m.-ish for the first comment. See y'all next clip. Peace. Okay, guys. It is 3.19 p.m. So we have my time zone. The breakfast conference starts at 3.30. L.A. time is 1.30. But it's going to start. Y'all not gonna be able to watch, yeah. but you're gonna be able to hear it with me. Okay, can you guys hear me? Ooh. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Is that too loud? Hey, just real quick, um, before they get started, I have a pit in my just real quick, if I could get everybody's attention, real quick. They're, um, this, they're attorney. So, like, we spoke outside on Deputy Rosales with the, the sheriff security. Um, once the, the pro, once the press conference is concluded, we're going to have you guys exit, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. Um, don't try to wander off to the back or anything like that. Once the press conference is done, um, it's just the same way you guys came in. We're going to have you guys come out the same way, okay? okay so if we can nice. just have your cooperation well, with that. Amendment, and we're family. not going to have anybody congregate here. Once it's done, then we'll have you guys come outside, okay? If I can please uh, get that. Okay. Thank you. I don't figure out where Mark Gaskin is. We do still have like 10 minutes left. I just wanted to go ahead and start filming in case it like I see him and I'm not able to go to my camera and click record fast enough.
I do think what I am going to do is press the pause button, so all I got to do is click a button, the record button, and that only takes less than two seconds to do. So I'll see y'all in the next clip when I it actually starts, because we got nine minutes now, it's 3.21. So y'all, I'll see y'all in a second. Peace. Okay, it's probably been less than three and a half minutes since I stopped recording. We're still waiting. This is what, uh, looks like. But, uh, wanted to come on here and talk about how I'm feeling now that it's almost time to find out. I have a pit in my stomach because I feel like I know what he's going to say and it's, it's going to be, he's going to be like, nope, not resentencing them. Because I don't know why, just a pit I have or a gut I have that's telling me that. I don't want to believe my gut. I want to believe what my heart is telling me because my heart is telling me something different. Like, uh, I'm like, I'm 50 50 now. You know, earlier I said, earlier in the beginning, earlier in the intro of the video, I said I was 70 30. 70% 70 of me was like, he's going to say, let's resentence them. 30% of me was like, he's not going to say that. Now it's 50-50. Which is great. Like, <laughs> I've been n maybe this nervous for a lot of things, but it's been a long time since I've been this nervous for a long, long time. Like, I'm like, I could throw up. That's how nervous I am gonna try not to because I know y'all don't want to see me vomiting in this video so I'm not gonna but it's just like that's how bad this pit I have or like of nervousness I have too along with it like what time is it now 326 so we got four minutes until 330 I don't I don't know if it's gonna come right out the second it comes turns 330 I don't know Like, I'm nervous. Because the end of this video, because I am ending this video, when I find out all the information and everything, once he says it, I might stop recording, and if he says something again, I'll start recording and repeat what he said and talk about how I feel about something else. But, uh, yeah. Like, I could throw up. Like, he says, no, it will, I will be crying because I will break. I will crumble because this is the very, very, very last infinity chance of getting out. And so, thinking about it that way, I'm going to start crying. Because they should have been out long, long, long ago. Why am I already crying like I got the answer and it was no. We don't have the answer yet. Whew. Let me compose myself. It's 327. Three minutes until 3.30. Let me compose myself. Let me compose myself. <laughs> Think about something funny so I'm not crying. <laughs> Hi. I'm glad this is happening today. So I so it's not hard for me to go to sleep. I didn't know it was gonna be today. So I was able to go to sleep easy and I took melatonin, so yeah. I was like, hey, but I go to sleep easy. <laughs> I guess I took melatonin. I was gonna have to take like ten fucking melatonins to go to sleep tonight, but now I don't. Probably so I'm gonna be in, taking melatonin right just so I can get to sleep. Anyway. Still don't see Mark Gascon. Gaskin, how do you say his fucking last name? Like, uh. What time is it now? 
you know, why does time start going by so slow when you're like anticipating something to happen at like a certain time? Like why? But other times when you're not anticipating a certain time to happen, it goes by fast like that. Why? <laughs> like uh Is it three twenty nine yet? So we have sixty seconds. Yep. It's three twenty nine. I don't know if it's coming right out at 3.30, that's why I'm so confused about, like, the second it turns 3.30, he's gonna walk out, because we don't see him. Yet. Huh. I'm if y'all don't know, I record videos off of my phone, so I'm gonna put my phone in charge. I don't know why I'm telling you all that, but I am. Okay, now it's 3.30. Just turn 3.30. So anytime now. Yeah, I am going to stop recording and start recording because this is already like an 8 minute long clip. So I'll start recording the second I see them. So I'll see y'all here in a second. Peace. Eric's wife, Slayer, he wasn't at the press conference last week for the family, but he's, so he's at this press conference, Eric's wife, Eric Menendez's wife is Slayer. Where's he go? Oh, and they're zooming off, in off of her. Actually, no, I think he's fixing to start. Okay, I started recording perfect timing. There's no Mark Gaskell. Test. Mark Gaskin. One, Are this mic testing two. again? Test. One, two. Are we just mic testing? Where's Mark Gaskin? I'm just going to call him Mark G because I don't know if I'm saying his last name right or not. Yeah, I'm going to stop recording again and I'll be right back. I just want to come on here and say that Eric's wife slurred and she wasn't at the yeah, family's press true. conference last week. So I thought that was interesting. But of course it would be at something like this. That was just a family press conference. So yeah, I'll be right back. Peace. Okay, guys. It's been about it's supposed to start my time zone. Three thirty is now four o six p.m. I think it's fixing to start. So, uh, like the amount of crapping my pants have done the past thirty-seven minutes is insane. Yeah, the George Gas or George Mark Gaskin. What is your hit that sense of bra? Oh my freaking god! You're late, bro. He's late. But I'm gonna dismiss that. Because all I give a shit about is the decision. Let him be late. Okay, here we go. 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 And then there's a case that has made national headlines. Hang on, let me go here. Speaking, I want to also introduce some other people that are here with me, and I want hope I'm pronouncing the names right because I've seen handwritten part of it. Here but I have Ana Maria mm -hmm. Barat, mm -hmm. Jose Menendez, Zani, uh, Jose Menendez, and niece Karen Vandermolen, and Katie's niece. They're all here with us. Uh, also with us here is uh, Brock, Brock Lunsford. He's the assistant head deputy for the Post Litigation so Conviction Unit. Better. And Nancy Servier, who is the deputy district attorney in charge of the resentencing unit. Let me begin by telling you that this is a, a case that was uh, a very hard decision where to make. we've had many people in this office spend a great deal of time uh, reviewing the case. I have to tell you unequivocally that we don't have a universal agreement. Uh, there are people in the office uh, that strongly believe that I'm the Menendez brothers that. should stay in prison the rest of their life. And they do not believe that they were molested. And there are people in the office that strongly believe that they should be released immediately. Yes. And that they were in fact molested. Please look. I have to tell you that after a very 
careful review of all the arguments that were made for people on both sides of this uh, equation. I came to a place where I believe that under the law, resentencing is appropriate. And I am going to recommend that to a court tomorrow. What that means in this particular case is that we're going to recommend to the court that the life without the possibility of parole be removed and that they will be sentenced for murder, which, because there are two murders involved, that will be 50 years to life. However, because of their age under the law, since they were under 26 years of age at the time that these crimes occurred, they will be eligible for parole immediately. The teams that have worked in this on the resentencing side of it have spent literally probably hundreds of hours by now looking at this case. These cases were originally presented on the habeas side of it, which I'll explain in a moment what that is, last year, and then the request for it prosecutor initiated resentencing I'm crying. occurred earlier this year. And there have been people in this office working in these cases from the very beginning. I am gonna break my mom as well as many my mom other wants cases to know that we what's have. happening. She's at work so she can't watch it. The reason why I'm here today and why I came in front of I'm all of like you about news. ten days ago is because there was a more recent JK. documentary JK. about the case that again brought a tremendous amount of public attention. And we know there have been other documentaries, so this is not the first, this is the most recent one. Yeah, most recent. And frankly, our office got flooded with requests for information. And even though this case was already scheduled to be heard in late November, I decided to move this forward because yeah. quite frankly, we did not have enough resources to handle all the requests. And one of the things that I thrive to do in this office is to be very transparent in everything that we do. Mm -hmm. In this case, we review the prison files. You have to understand that the way the process works when you're talking about a sentence, a resentencing under the law, it really focuses not necessarily on what the original crimes were, but it focuses on has the person been rehabilitated, number one, and number two, can they be released safely into the community. Under that rubric, since I've been in office, we have resentenced oh over 300 I still can't people, believe including 28 for murder. Or this in general. Only four have reoffended. If that was a regular recidivism yeah, rate in this country, we would be the only safest four. nation in the world. Only but we four. know that it's not. In fact, somewhere between 40 and 50 percent of the people that go to prison reoffend and get rearrested. And that's why we have so many problems. Mm -hmm. However, when you look at the case of the Menendez brothers, you see two very young people. One was 19 and the other one was 21 when they committed this horrible acts. And I want to underline, they were horrible acts. Yeah, very, 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 very. There is no excuse for murder. And I will never imply that what we're doing here is to excuse that behavior. Because even if you get abused, the right path is to call the police, seek help. Mm -hmm. But I understand also how sometimes people get desperate. We often see women, for instance, that have been battered for years and sometimes they will murder their abuser out of desperation. And I do believe that the brothers were subjected to a tremendous amount of dysfunction in the home and molestation. Mm -hmm. But they went to prison for life without yes. the possibility of parole which meant that certainly under the law at that time, they had no hopes of ever getting out. Yep. They could have done what many other people do, which is basically said, you know what, I'm here for the rest of my life, so I'm going to do whatever. 
I'm going to misbehave, I'm going to join gangs, uh, I'm going They've to live the, the life of, that. of a person. They've done they never amazing did that. in person. To the contrary, even though they didn't think that they would ever be left free, they engaged in a different journey. A journey of redemption and a journey of rehabilitation. And often the people that begin their journey of rehabilitation and redemption in prison is often very internal in what they do. And, and one of our lawyers pointed out this today is usually the path is people try to further their education, do things for self-improvement, which the brothers have done, by the way. Mm -hmm. But it's more unique or more less usual, I guess, when people not only do that, but they also begin to engage in ways to make life for others better. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the brothers have been doing so for a very long time. Creating the reason I'm not jumping up and down to the old with joy. How to I mean, I was just crying about like untreated trauma. Jumping up down creating groups to deal and with excited, other inmates and everything is because they we still have to hear from the judge in November. We still have and to hear from the judge. And they treated differently. Even so, in one case, Lyle negotiating for other inmates as to the conditions that they live under during prison. And all this was done by two young people. Now they're not as young. <laughs> they had no hopes of ever Getting 53 out of 56 a week. They have been in prison for nearly 35 years. I don't like that. How many years that is? I just hate it every time I hear it. 30 years. I believe that they have paid their debt to society. I do too. And the system provides a vehicle for their case to be reviewed by a parole board, and then the parole concurs with my assessment and it will be their decision mm -hmm. they will be released accordingly yes out of his hands now i must underline however this case will be filed in court tomorrow yes the final decision will be made by the judge yep like court has said. to agree with my conclusion that they deserve to be resentenced. Yes. It is very possible that they may be members of this office that will be present in court opposing their resentencing. Oh, shit, I didn't realize that. And they have a right to do so. Yeah, they do. And we Never encourage right. those that disagree with us to speak, and the court is the appropriate place to do it. I don't encourage, bro. I'm sorry, but I don't. We certainly feel very. We're very sure Here's to hoping we get a judge not only that the brothers have heart. rehabilitated and that they will be safe to be reintegrated because in our society. Most judges don't have a heart. But that they have paid their dues. And they don't like their job. Not only so, for the crimes yeah. that they committed, but because of all the other things they have done to improve the life of so many others. So, again, we will be filing for resentencing tomorrow. We're seeking that Every they will be that, I'm gonna smile. sentenced to life with the possibility of parole, as opposed to life without say, the possibility of parole, which is their currently have. Tomorrow. That I'm means that smile. they would have 50 years to life because there were two murders. Yes. But because of the age mm -hmm. upon which they were convicted, they under 26, able. under current law, that means they're eligible for youthful parole. I think there is also important to have some introspection today because I think that often for cultural reasons we don't believe victims of sexual assault, yeah. whether they're women or whether they're men. That's true. We saw in our first trial, which by the way, they were tried twice, the first trial hung, I mean a jury could not come to a conclusion, and in fact, about half of the jury wanted to convict them of manslaughter, which, if that were have been the case, they would have been off prison a long time ago. Yes, they would have been. 
And then there was a second trial, and then they were convicted of murder with special circumstances. Yeah, fuck that second trial. Which led like, to the fuck life that without the possibility of like, parole. Fuck it all the way down. But it's fuck. salient to understand that our own implicit and sometimes explicit bias around sexual abuse and sexual assault often leads us to severe injustices in our community. I know the internet, Twitter is probably freaking out with this. And I want to speak to those that are victims of sexual assault now, whether you're a man or a woman. Know that we're here for you. If you're a victim of sexual assault in this community, and by that we're talking about LA County, not just LA City, you can come for help. Whether you're prepared to prosecute or not, we will be here for you. We have services for you. And if you're prepared to move forward with the prosecution, we will evaluate it as we do any other case. And if we believe that the evidence is there mm -hmm. to present a credible case in front of a jury that can be proven beyond a reasonable doubt, we would proceed accordingly. You do not have to suffer alone. You don't have to keep it to yourself. You don't. And help is here unconditionally. Help is here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say a few words in Spanish because I know there's a tremendous amount of interest from the Spanish media. I don't and I know that there are going to be other speakers so today. So we're fixing to not, I'm fixing to not understand shit. And then we're going to open up for shit. questions. Primero que nada, quiero dar las gracias a todos por estar aquí hoy. Estamos hablando del caso de los hermanos Menéndez. Esto fue un caso donde dos hermanos, uno de 19 yeah, y uno de 21 años, asesinaron a sus padres más de tres décadas atrás. Los muchachos fueron condenados por asesinato y llevan en la prisión alrededor de 35 años. Este fue un caso que tuvo mucha atención pública cuando sucedió y indudablemente tiene mucha atención pública hoy cuando vemos esta habitación como está llena. La razón por la que nosotros estamos buscando que la Corte reevalúe la sentencia original es la siguiente. Bajo la ley de California, cuando una persona es acusada de un crimen, Spanish, ese crimen puede ser reevaluado si la persona lleva muchos años en la cárcel o la prisión y enseña que se ha rehabilitado y que puede ser reintegrado en la comunidad sin causar peligro para el resto de nosotros. En el caso de los hermanos Menéndez, nosotros hemos revisado el caso Y creemos, número uno, que se han rehabilitado. Y número dos, que pueden ser reintegrados en la comunidad sin causar peligro para el resto de nosotros. Es importante English? notar que este es un caso de dos muchachos que yeah. tenían 19 y 21 años. Que probablemente fueron no solamente acusados por su familia, okay, pero posiblemente Spanish, también fueron I'll molestados start sexualmente. I'll be right back. Peace. Hey, guys. I did stop recording randomly because... He started speaking Spanish. So they're going to file the resentencing tomorrow. And then hopefully we hear something from the court within 30 to 45 days. So it may not be November. It may be middle of December before we hear anything. I'm hoping, 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 hoping that it could be Thanksgiving. But at that court hearing, they could either be brought in in person or over Zoom. And I preferably prefer them to tune into it over Zoom. Because Todd and Chrisley, Todd and Julie Chrisley, the Chrisleys, y'all don't know who they are, ignore this part, but uh, Julie was flown in in person and there was men. So if she had to go to the bathroom, she would have to be terrorized by walking uh, across the room, across the airplane to get to the bathroom. I don't want the Menendez brothers put on note. I just don't want them being flown in. I just, I prefer Zoom because it's safer for a lot of reasons and not just that reason alone. There's a lot more reasons than this that I don't want them flown in.
than just that reason. But uh, yeah, I prefer Zoom. But yeah, I am going to bring this video to close here. I'm going to celebrate, even though I said they still have to go to a judge and everything. I am going to celebrate for today and let tomorrow have the real world, real world kick in. But it doesn't hurt for me to celebrate one day. This is just one step closer. So let's hope. And from what I, what George, or Matt, I keep on wanting to call him George. From what Mark Gaskin said, he says Lyle and Eric, they're pro probably watching this live in prison. So they're pro they're finding out the news this when we are, the same time we are. Was I'm imagining they're probably smiling, but cautiously, optimistically smiling. <laughs> because that's the word everyone wants to use for the reaction to all of this. I'm still cautiously optimistic like them, because they still, like I said a fucking million times before in this video, they have to go in front of a judge. That a judge could say no. So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, guys.